So I looked at the PyTorch documentation for the very first time yesterday. And in this video, we're going to be trying to code a PyTorch deep learning model in 15 minutes. This is going to be interesting. What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Code That where I try to build stuff in a ridiculously short time frame. In this episode, as I mentioned, we are going to be building a deep neural network using PyTorch very quickly. So what are the rules? Well, first and foremost, we're gonna have a time limit. As per usual, the time limit is going to be 15 minutes. Now we need some constraints. In this particular case, I'm not going to be allowed to look at any documentation or pre-existing code. Also, I'm not gonna be able to use Copilot. To be honest, my subscription's expired anyway, so that doesn't really matter. If I do go and use existing code or documentation, it is a one minute time penalty off our total time limit. We're also gonna need some stakes. If I don't make that time limit, it is going to be a $50 Amazon gift card to you guys. Now, the last two episodes, we haven't quite hit that time limit, so who knows? We're gonna have to try to make a bit of an effort in this one. Before we jump right into it, we should probably take a little bit of a look as to what is PyTorch. PyTorch is an open source deep learning framework which is predominantly used in Python. It was developed by the team at Facebook and it accelerates the speed at which you can go and build deep learning models. It is used quite heavily in state-of-the-art models as well as in deep learning research. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Ooh, sir. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. 15 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create a new Python file. So I'm just going to call it uh, torchnn.py. Okay, then we need to import a bunch of dependencies. So I've already gone and installed PyTorch on this particular machine, but we need to import some PyTorch dependencies. So let's go for it. So uh, from PyTorch, actually from Torch, well, I'm already screwing up, from Torch import and then Uh, from torch.optim import Adam from torch.utils.data import what is it uh, data loader all right cool so those are so torch so this most of our neural network classes are going to be inside of the neural network class Adam is going to be our optimizer and data loader is needed to load a data set from PyTorch then we need a bunch of dependencies from torch vision so from torch vision torch oh my gosh everything torch vision uh import data sets and then from torch vision so we need this next dependency to convert our images into tensors which are going to work with pytorch so from torch vision dot transforms import uh what do we need true tensor Boom. Okay, let's close this for now. All right, so those are our dependencies imported. What we now need to do is import our data set. So we don't have any data sets in our folders, but some images that have already gone and downloaded, which we'll be able to test out later on. So let's download our data set. So we're going to use the MNIST data set, which is an image classification data set. There are 10 classes, so zero to nine. So we're going to be able to download that using the data sets class over here. So train equals data sets dot MNIST. And then we need to specify where we want to download it. So root equals, and then the folder, so data. And then we're going to specify download equals true because we need to download it. And then we also need to download, we want the train partition, set that equal to true. And then we need to specify any data transformations that we want to go on ahead and apply. So we're going to specify transform and we want to transform it to a tensor. And then we are going to create our data set. So data set equals data loader so we need to pass our train partition so this over here to this data loader so train and then specify how we want to batch up our data set so we're going to convert it into batches of 32 images cool so this is sorry two comments so import dependencies get data all right now we actually need to create our neural network class so the first thing that we're going to do is create a class and we're going to call it image classifier and we are going to subclass it from the neural network.module class from PyTorch. Then we need two functions or two methods. So def init. And we also need a forward, uh, a forward method. This is akin to the call method inside of TensorFlow. 
All right, so we've initialized our first method. So now what we need to do is create a model. So this is where we actually stack all our layers. So we are going to call self.model. So we'll create a new uh, attribute equals nn.sequential. So we're going to be using the sequential API from PyTorch. So it's coming from up here. And then what we want to do is we're going to use convolutional neural network layers. So, uh, so nn.conv2d. And then we need to specify what wow, this is intense. All right, so the, our input channel is going to be one because our images are black and white. Then we want 32 filters of shape three by three or 32 kernels. All right, so that's our one convolutional neural network layer. Then we need some activations to handle non-linearities. And then uh, what are we doing? So we're going to add in a bunch more convolutional neural network layers. So we now need 32 as our input channels. And then we're going to output 64. And then let's do one more set of convolutional neural network layer or conv, conv layers. And then we are going to be taking 64 from up here. Now, without getting too deep into the math, by applying each one of these layers with these specific parameters, we're going to be shaving off two pixels of the height and width of each image. So we need to adjust for that in our output when we apply a linear layer. So first up, we need to flatten these layers and then we're going to apply uh, create a linear layer. So nn.linear and our shape. So we need to pass through the input shape into the linear layer. So it's going to be 64 channels because that's the final channel output from our last convolutional neural network layer multiplied by our images from MNIST are in the shape of one, 28,28. So if we're applying three convolutional neural network layers with these specific parameters, this specific stride and whatnot, we're going to be shaving off two pixels each time. So we're effectively going to be shaving off two, two, and then two. So it's minus six. So it's going to be 68 multiplied or oh, minus six. Sorry, 28 minus six. Then 28 minus six over here. And then our output shape needs to be the number of classes. So our, we've got 10 different classes. So zero to nine classes, zero to nine. So we need 10 outputs. Beautiful. Okay. I think that's our neural network layer. Let me just quickly take a look at that. Um, oh, wait, we need to subclass this model. So we are going to call super dot init. And that looks good. And then our forward function or method is pretty simple so it's just going to take in our current instance and we're going to take in our x data and we are going to return self.model and then we're going to pass through our x value into that all right how we're we looking how we're we looking for time all right six minutes over. We, we need to accelerate okay so that's our image classifier class uh neural network now what we need to do is set up a a couple of things so we need to create an instance of the neural network uh, loss and our optimizer. Okay, so our instance of our neural network, so we're gonna call it classifier, so CLF equals image classifier. And then we need to say that we wanna use our GPU. So I've installed the GPU edition of Torch on this, so it's the CUDA equivalent. So we're going to send it to that device. So we can type in dot two and then say CUDA. If you don't have a GPU, then you can set this to CPU really need to stop talking and start writing okay so that's our classifier cool i think that is good then we need to instantiate our optimizer and we in, uh, imported our optimizer from up here i don't know why this turtle thing imports so our optimizer is adam so we're going to be using adam and then to that we need to pass our classifier and the parameters and then we need to specify our learning rate learning rate adjusts how fast or slow our neural network is going to learn so we're going to specify lr equals one e negative three Cool. All right, so that's our optimizer. Then we need to create a loss function. So loss function equals uh, nn.crossentropy loss. Beautiful. Okay, so that's our neural network done. That's our optimizer done. That's our loss function done. All right, now what we need is a training function. We are, we're gonna make this seven minutes. Oh yeah, we're gonna make this. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so training uh, flow. So we're just going to do it inside of like our typical function or like Python function here. That is still recording. Cool. All right. Um, so if breathe, breathe. Ooh, remember your pressure point. Remember your pressure points. Okay. If name equals equals 
main. I finally want to make this <laughs> hit the code that time limit. All right, so if name, let's get rid of that, equals main, then what do we want to do? So we want to run our deep learning training for a number of epochs. That's effectively going through all of our batches. So if uh, actually for epoch in range, range 10. So this means we're going to be training for 10 epochs. Train for 10 epochs. Then for batch in data set. So we're going to be looping through this over here. Then what we need to do is unpack the data that we're getting there. So X and Y are going to equal batch. So we're going to unpack that data. And then we need to send the X and Y values to our GPU again. So it's going to be X comma Y equals X dot two CUDA. Again, if you've got a CPU only, it's going to be two CPU y.2 CUDA so this is a little different compared to when you're working in TensorFlow um, all right then we need to make a prediction so y hat equals clf and then pass through x to generate a prediction yes that makes sense then we need to calculate loss so this is how you typically go through and actually build or, or build a flow in part in TensorFlow you just effectively go compile and then dot fit all right, so we need to calculate our loss. So our loss is going to be our loss function. Loss function, and then we are passing through y hat and then y. So that calculates our loss. And then we actually need to go and apply back prop. Apply back prop. So first, what we need to do is we need to zero out any existing gradients. So we go opt dot zero grad. Then we need to take or we need to calculate those gradients. So loss dot backward. And then we need to go and take a step and effectively uh, apply gradient descent. So opt dot, is it opt dot step? Cool, I think that's okay, guys. All right, so then what we want to do is we want to print out our loss for every batch. So print, we are getting close, print F, and then we are going to the epoch. So I'm just going to print out the epoch. So we're going to print out what epoch we're currently up to. And then we're just going to print out loss. Loss is, and then we'll push loss.item. Yeah. Then close that, close that. All right, that looks good. I think we're okay. So what are we doing? So let's just quickly check. So we've got our dependencies. Utensa, that's fine. Data loader. We've gone and subclassed our model. Yes, that's fine. We've got our forward method instantiated all of this stuff gone and sent our data to the gpu gone and applied back prop we're then going to print out our epoch print out our loss oh last thing so we want to save down this model to our environment right so we actually want to go and save it here so let's go and save that so um with open we're going to call it uh model state dot pt and then we're going to write binary as f and then we need to oh actually we need to import some more stuff so we need to download we need to import save and then load from torch so we are going to save uh what's the format now it's model it'll be clf dot state dict and then we are saving it as f i think that's right okay let's give it a crack all right, so then we can run. To run this, we're just going to run Python and then torch and end .py. So Python. And if we successfully kick off training, we'll pause the timer because, come on, guys, you got to give me that at least. All right, uh, so let's run this. Okay, no errors so far. This is looking promising. All right, so it's downloading the data set. So we should have our data set popping up here. You can see inside of data. If we see a loss metric, I'll pause it. Come on. This is killing me. Yes. All right. Woo. Guys, we started trading. Oh man. <laughs> yes, I think we're going to finally make this first code that. So you can see that we are successfully printing out our epoch loss. So epoch zero loss is 
0.02, then we're going to 0 0.01, then 0 0.0002. And once we finish training, you should effectively see that we get our torch weight saved. Oh, the intensity. Guys. So you can see that our neural network is currently training, right? Oh, I'm so happy. And then we'll, we'll make a prediction. I'm, I'm counting this as a dub. We hit it in what? 13, less than 13 minutes. So what, 12 minutes and 54 seconds. That's got to be a new record. <laughs> God, all the, the gangster deep loading practitioners out there are going to be like, Nick, you skipped over a ton of the details. I was like, come on, I had 15 minutes. Anyway, we are chugging along. So I effectively, once our model gets to epoch... What is that? Epoch 9, we should have our weight saved out because we went and wrote this. And I'm going to share all this code as per usual. Code should be in the description and you can give this a crack yourself. All right, cool. We didn't get any errors. So, boom. We've got to play some angel music in here. <laughs> oh, guys, your boy is happy. So that is successfully how to go and build a neural network with PyTorch. So we did it. I'm happy now. So if we wanted to, we could actually go and load up this um, neural network and make a prediction, which is why I've got these images here. So should we try to get this done in two minutes? I'm a little nervous. All right, let's do it. So we've got two minutes left on the clock. Let's try to get the predictions done. Okay, so we've successfully loaded, downloaded or trained our model. So now what we can do, let me just minimize this. So now what we can do is comment this stuff out. So we don't need to go and train again. And then what we'll do is we'll load up. So we've got a classify there. So we'll then go with open and then we want to load up this. So model state.pt. So with open model state.pt read binary as f and then we are going to go load f and then we want to go clf dot load i think it's load state dict yep cool so that's going to load the weights into our classifier then in order to make predictions we need to import torch torch up here and we also need to import uh pillow to load our image so then what we can go on ahead and do is loading our image the so image equals pill uh, actually wait it's not pill so from pill import image so then we're going to import our image to so image dot open and we're just going to open up image one right now which is a number two so uh image underscore one dot jpg and then what do we need to do? So we need to convert that to a tensor. So we're going to go uh, image tensor equals to tensor, pass through our image, and then we need to unsqueeze it because we want to pass through a single sample. So we're going to unsqueeze and then send it to our GPU, so CUDA. And then we should be able to print classifier and then image tensor. I think that might be okay. All right, let's run it. And this should print out our prediction. Oh, we need to, uh, so torch.argmax. I'm going to take this as a win, guys. Right? That's the timer up, though. <laughs> so if I now go and run this. Boom. It's predicting two. How good is that? I'm gonna take that as a dub, guys, because we managed to train that model and make predictions. So if you take a look now, right? I can then go and load up image two. All I need to do is change the image here and it should print out the class. The tensor zero. So image, if we go and open up image two, boom, that's tensor zero. So it's predicting the, the class zero. We go and run it for, let's go and do it for image three which is a number nine. So if we go and pass through image three here. Boom, number nine.
thank you so much for tuning in guys hopefully you've enjoyed this speed running building pytorch neural networks code's going to be in the description via my github if you guys want to take a crack i'll catch you in the next one peace thanks so much for tuning in guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit subscribe and tick that bell it really does help and i really do appreciate you checking out this video if there's any feedback any challenges or anything you'd like to hear a little bit more about do let me know in the comments below thanks again for tuning in guys also let me know if you like this challenge and uh if we could do better next time thanks again for tuning in peace